hello guys welcome to yet another video on vagrant now it is now time for us to download this vagrant now this the link below here is going to be pasted on the comment box and on the description so that you can have a easy access to it now when you now navigate yourself to this download page of this vagrant you choose your dis the distribution your your os my i'm using a windows operating system now there are two files that is needed for you to download depending on the one that is available for you to download so you can choose any of these to download and also you can choose and also you choose this is a must but this these two you can choose any of these two any of these two but this you must choose this you first of all install this before installing this so me i have downloaded this and this okay so let's go and see it and also we need to download visual box okay um, vagrant and visual box works hand in hand now when you navigate yourself to this download page of this visual box click on the windows host now this will automatically dan start downloading the newest version of the software okay when you are done downloading it you go to the directory where it downloaded into there you can see my here you can see i have the visual box i have the variant vmware and i have the main variant application so these two these three applications you need to download them now after downloading them you install them there is no special installation just leave everything at default and and continue clicking continue next continue next finish so when you are done installing all these three applications we will now move to the next stage the next stage is for us to set up our windows system now go to your control panel click on the search bar then type features then you see this turn windows features on and off you click on it then this box will pop out wait for it to load finish then you see this hyper v it must be checked you must check it okay if it's like this just check it when you check it then you click on ok now your system is going to request request you to reboot your system just go ahead and reboot okay when you are done rebooting then we now continue to the next stage now the next stage is creating a directory where your program is going to where you are going to like install or boot up the ubuntu operating system now for example if if you leave it at default under user your uh, users then the name of the user if this is going to give you an error it's going to deny you permission so i would suggest you move it into documents or the desktop so me i prefer moving it into the desktop so in, inside this desktop i've already made a folder called um what variant variant now inside this folder is empty now inside this folder is where we are going to that is where we are going to bootstrap the variant I don't know why I keep calling this vi vi variant. So, pardon my pronunciation, okay? But I believe you understood the information I'm trying to pass. Then, inside this folder is where we are going to bootstrap our vagrant, okay? So, let's head. Remember that you have already downloaded and installed the utilities and the main vagrant vagrant um, applications now we head into this this url which tells us on how to bootstrap initialize and uh, link our visual box to our vagrant now the first thing that you see here is this first code here 
the only thing I, I, I will advise you to do is just copy it from here when you copy it you go to your terminal or your command prompt and paste it when you paste it you hit your enter key as usual now it will take time to bootstrap or to initialize but at the end it will definitely initialize me i have run this before like two times okay it may skip some files do you get but just follow the codes that i'm pasting and then doing what i'm doing now after this has run now it says a vagrant file has been placed in the directory and and other things then you can see here they gave you a similar information that this means that it is successful that you are you're actually on the right path now the next one is for you to do this if you are using powershell i suggest to just do ls okay to see the vagrant file but if you add that the other commands that follows it which is uh let me check again al it will give you an error you can see it will give you an error the parameter cannot be found that matches the parameter al so forget about this al this this is what they, they actually want you to see okay so you have seen it with ls now uh, this is it so the that vagrant file has been created so the next one is you go down to start up the machine to power it up okay the next thing is for you to power it up now you go here and copy this code then navigate to your terminal paste it and hit your enter key now this will bootstrap all the necessary files that is needed for it to boot up it will take some time okay so just be patient and you should have internet connectivity is very important this cannot happen you cannot create a successful vagrant workspace without internet connectivity so let's watch it as it bootstraps to 100 percent before it will proceed to the next stage i'm going to leave this video as and it's going to be as long as this it will take okay because i want you guys to see the full process the time it took and everything so i'm not going to pause this video so as you can see it's detected our our visual box version that we installed okay and it is mounting is linking it to the vagrant application that we installed and bootstrapped 
so right now we are now linked to our visual box let's now go and open our visual box you can see var grant default one so this is what we just installed here right now now for us to boot it up we click on this show now it will ask us for password uh, the password is vagrant okay uh, vagrant then the user the login the login is vagrant the password is also vagrant so we are into our ubuntu operating system so let me ls okay there's nothing there let me ls a okay you can see some some things inside so this is a linux operating system which is ubuntu operating system okay we can actually check the name of this which is linux it was named linux so Um, what else can we do working current working directory you can see we are inside the home and vagrant then we can make a directory we can make a directory called um, learning learning the basics basics okay so let us ls you can see the directory learning the basic way we can actually move into this directory we can move into this directory okay we have moved into the directory there there's nothing inside the directory we can also touch let's touch some files um please subscribe to my youtube channel please sub to my youtube channel sub sub to my youtube channel okay so let's just touch it without extension so we have touched the letters ls so you can see what is inside you can also echo into it so please sub sub to youtube channel so let's echo okay we are echoing something to it so no it has to come out then we have to put something in here i i am begging you so after that we now we now hit enter key then let's cut what we just did i'm tired of typing this long thing so let's cut we cut then you can see i'm begging you i hope i hope you guys can see everything so that is how to install your ubuntu on the vagrant isolation software as a service application or tools so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't mind my pronunciation okay don't mind my pronunciation Va vagrant or vagrant anything it, it is i love it